Hello and welcome to this week's Live Local and Loud with me, Kevin Gorn. On this week's show, I shall be chatting to the brand new owner of The Shed in sunny Leicester, Mr Tom Carnell. We'll be chatting about his bands and chatting about what's going to be going on at The Shed. And we'll also be playing lots of homegrown music by local bands. Hello, I hope you're all well and having a great week. Let's kick today's show off with a little bit of Steve Faulkner and his very latest song released about a week ago, so it's hot off the press. Here's Steve Faulkner and Don't Burn the Sky. very latest tune from local legend Stephen Faulkner, Don't Burn the Sky. Uh, if you'd like to buy that, uh, all profits go to a very worthwhile cause and also you can check out his other um, music. If you, uh, His Facebook page is Stephen Faulkner Music, no spaces, at Stephen Faulkner Music. Okay, so let's have a little bit of Dig, dig Lazarus now. They will be performing at the wonderful Musician Pub on the 1st of April. Um, they'll be releasing their new album, This Is Not A Joke. Um, but meanwhile, here's one of their older songs and Time Froze. Ever made a promise you cannot keep A different problem to start a new week Time froze Nobody knows what you've been up to Have you ever been asked to lose yourself to stand your ground? Secrets inside, secrets you keep 
damn it. That was the wonderful Dig Lazarus and Time Froze. Don't forget, you can see them at their album release show, supported by my old favourites Scam and Ali Dickerty from the Virgin Marys, no lesser. That'll be a fantastic night. That's on the 1st of April at the wonderful musician in sunny Leicester. So that'll be great, that will. Meanwhile, here's a blast from the past. It's Don's Mobile Barbers. Start it all again. Don's Mobile Barbers start it all again. Now here's another one of my old favourites, Elizabeth Cornish. I believe she's moved to Germany now. Um, I don't think she's performing anymore, uh, but she was one of my favourites back in the day. Here's Elizabeth Cornish, The End. situations 
I tried, I know I tried the amazing voice of the wonderful Elizabeth Cornish, The End. Absolutely fantastic voice, love her, used to love her music anyway. Uh, okay, so now it's time for this week's little interview where I'm chatting to the Mr. Tom Carnell, who now owns The Shed. But first of all, we'll start off with the music from one of his old bands, his We Give In and Sour.
That was Sour by We Give In, who are one of the many bands who have played at Leicester's iconic venue, The Shed. And as it happens, my extra special guest today on this week's show is the one and only Tom Carnell, who has recently taken over The Shed. Hello there, Tom. How the devil are you? Hello. I am very, very well, thank you. How are you? Excellent. I'm very well as well. Thank you very much. And thank you again for taking the time out of your busy schedule to chat to with me today. I really oh, No worries at all. It's always a pleasure. Excellent. So firstly, now I'd like to say a huge congratulations on taking over the shed. Well thank done you. with that. Thank and you very much. Now, and you've been managing it over the last few years. How does it feel now to own one of Leicester's most uh, iconic music festival uh, venues? Uh, it's honestly, it's a question I'm getting a lot at the minute and it really still, for some reason, hasn't fully sunk in. I'm doing a lot of work behind the scenes at the minute, which is proving to be fairly stressful, having not owned a company or even a music venue before. There's a lot of uh, new challenges and new things that I'm finding out. And I think my brain is so consumed with all of that at the minute, I'm not really thinking too much about it. So I think... When the 1st of April hits and all of a sudden it's Tom Carnell, owner of the shed, which is still bizarre to say, I think that's when it's going to sink in properly. But at the minute, like when when we first kind of agreed on it and we we got everything signed, it did hit me a bit then. And it it feels amazing. I, I still can't quite believe it's happened. I've spent the past six, seven, eight months trying to make it happen and various occasions it's looked like it's not going to happen and to be here now a couple of weeks before i take over and we do the 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 launch and everything it's 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 a great feeling okay so you're officially taking it over on the first of april yes april fool's day so (laughs) i know i know it seems quite fitting uh but it's actually also uh the first of april was also the day that um Elizabeth took over it I as thought well, so. uh, yeah. five years ago. Yeah, yeah. So what made you want to take it? You've been managing it, obviously, for a few years now. Uh, what yeah. made you want to take it over, Tom? I've always had big aspirations in life when it's come to my career and work. I've got a lot of friends around me that call me a workaholic, which I'm like, absolutely, I probably am. Um, but it's just, it feels like the right thing to do. I absolutely adore the place. I've been going there, playing gigs, attending gigs since I was like 14, 15 years old. And especially over the past few years, it just feels like a second home for me and to a lot of people that do go there week in, week out. And I just kind of wanted to make sure that it it carries on being that instead of there was some propositions that I know Elizabeth got in terms of um, purchasing the place. Yeah. Uh, where they wanted to turn it into a shisha bar and all sorts of things. And Ooh. I just wanted to make sure that that was not going to happen. Well, I'd heard rumours it was going to turn in, be turned into a block of flats, which was quite Yeah, wild. there was a... Uh... There was a lot of rumours flying around and and I do think that was one of the possibilities. And again, that's something that I just did not want to happen. So we made it work and, and we're here and, and it's positive and it's not going to be turned into flats. It's going to carry on as a music venue has, as it has been since 1994. That's a relief. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So were, were there actually proposals to turn it into a block of flats or don't you know? I don't know for definite and I don't think, but I don't think there was definite like proposals. I think there are a few people that were interested, but as soon as Elizabeth and uh, her dad, Nige got wind of that, that that's what they wanted to do. They said no straight away. Um, For them, they they were probably offered a good amount of money for it, but for them, it wasn't entirely about the money. It's it's to make sure it goes into the right hands to carry on doing what it's doing. We've just played Sour by We Give In. Of course, they are one of the bands that you used to be in. Um, Yes. I guess, have they now split up? Yeah, we just, um, we found none of us had the time to take a lead on the project, um, especially because you know at that point I had to keep it under wraps but I knew I was buying the shed and I knew that would be quite a time consuming thing and and we we were all going through a lot of changes in life at the minute 
and you need in a in a band or a project you need at least one or two people that can take charge of it you don't have to have everyone fully invested taking the lead but you need one or two and we just found we didn't really have that at, at this point in time and who knows we might revisit it in the future because it is a lot of fun right. um but for now it's it's yeah it's very much kind of done <laughs> yeah. i can imagine running the shed now is, is pretty much going to take up all your time <laughs> yeah i mean it pretty much did before but i think now it's e- even more so yeah you're not, you're not in any more bands then well i'm still in uh home of shakespeare which at the minute we're doing a lot of recording um it's not too time consuming right now um so yeah we, we're, we're still doing we're still doing that blimey <laughs> <laughs> I could I couldn't leave it completely. I couldn't not drum in a band. Like I just I I love it. I love being a musician, and I think that's ultimately what's led me to purchase a music venue. <laughs> yeah. Speaking about homeless Shakespeare, let's play one of their little tunes. Uh, let's play oh, yes. Su- Suits in the Streets. Um, why 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 did you want to play this tune then, Tom? I think out of all the tunes we've got recorded so far, it's my favourite. Um, it's just very upbeat, very fun to dance to. My mum says it sounds like Rizzle Kicks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, I just I just love it. I love playing it as well. Um, we have got some more stuff being recorded, which I enjoy even more, but unfortunately I can't show you that yet. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here's Suits in the Streets by Homeless Shakespeare and the Pigeon Theatre. To the roots of the street Suits in the seats Paws march Chelsea boots on the feet Arms crossed with the side Man's armed with the deeds Armed with the dogs Watch your dog For your lend up Fed to the hops Lift in the box In the body bag Weighed with rocks Still breathing You'll be screaming Under the mud After do these streets Such a wondrous good back Be done of all of you pirates Who plunder in hoods But I am the thunder and flood Sinking ships like a side in wood Man I make man dip Like a siren could Just take a sip of my lion blood And you will wake up Stinking a violence problem Cause man's hard as iron like Tony Stark You know I'm high on a high grade Straight from the farm and the tide of my tirade Drow man deep like a tidal wave But I'm a viral play this I'm a virus mate Set the flame and wait until the fire's fade Mind over body I'm a higher state Check mate you aim but you fired late Whatever happened to the suits on the street Boots to the feet, boots deep in the heat Whatever happened to the suits on the street? Boots on the feet, suits weaving a beam. Whatever happened to the suits on the street? Whatever happened to the suits on the street? I'm using the cheats. Rosebud like skin, subtle war empire. I'm producing a fee. I'm gonna take these seeds like they're penny seeds. You got man stuck in my teeth. After eating them up for lunch, after sucking out the brick like a leech And I'm itchy, but I ain't bruising You man are wet, I can see you brooding Don't even play the game and I know that you're losing Guess who's who, I can never five duties I'm just cruising, don't mind me intruding Just here for a bird's eye view with this shooting My feet are grooving, speed is booming, synapse is grooning This is my cruising, soups and the blues Him amusing, amused cause your bullshit's amusing Prowling like we see through fox eyes Your flags and sandpaper don't have a soft side Carrying Uzi, moped mod like Bloody and loud on the ground like a cock fight Causing a ruckus like a protest mob man So don't rock like skipping through the stop signs And that ain't no cop Whatever happened to the suits on the street Boots of the feet, roots deep in the heat Whatever happened to the suits on the street? Boots of the feet, suits weaving a beat. Whatever happened to the suits on the street? Boots of the feet, boots deep in the heat. Whatever happened to the suits on the street? Boots of the feet, suits weaving a beat. Whatever happened to the suits on the street? 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 That was Suits in the Streets by Homeless Shakespeare and the Pigeon Theatre, who also play quite a lot at the Shed, or used to. Um, have they got any plans to play again at the Shed, Tom? 
We don't at the minute. We actually have no gigs planned. We're, we're, it's very much a recording project at the minute. We've got five EPs planned and we really want to spend the year. We, we've got our own little studio and we want to spend the year recording, oh, releasing okay. music. Um, yeah. That's that's the big plan. And then hopefully, I mean, we'll probably do a couple of like EP launch gigs. They're not planned yet because not everything's recorded and done yet. Um, so in due course, we will probably announce that. Right. Um but yeah, for now, we're recording, we're going to do some release shows, um, and then once we've got this collection of EPs done and out, we're then going to, um, we're going we're gonna to start gigging a lot more with it. Excellent, excellent. Anyway, let's go back to the shed now. So Elizabeth, the previous owner, she did a great job of refurbishing the shed um, yes. a few years ago, and she gave yeah. it a much more cosmopolitan sort of student-y feel, which I thought was yeah. lovely. Because uh, it gave it a more sort of chilled coffee shop vibe during mm-hmm. the day, and then you could go to your gigs in the evening. In fact, yeah, I think I might even remember seeing a hammock or something in there. Is that right? <laughs> yes, there was. It broke, unfortunately, but oh. there was a hammock in there at one point. Are there any <laughs> sort of tweaks that you plan to make? Um, well, as I've been managing it anyway, especially heavily over the past six months. I'm doing everything that I wanted to do. We are trying to bring back more weekday events because obviously after COVID and after being in lockdown, we we wanted to kind of take it steady to start with just opening on weekends, doing gigs, club nights, karaoke, that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm slowly looking at introducing a more, uh, a few more event ideas in the week. We're bringing Ambush Tuesdays back, uh, oh, okay. which have always proved to be quite popular. They start again in April. I've got a few things planned that uh, that I'm keeping close to my chest right now, uh, but there is some very exciting things planned, but I don't want to reveal that yet. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's good. So there'll be more things, because at the moment, like you say, it's, it's more open at weekends at the moment, isn't it? Yes. It's closed during the week, yes. so you'll be doing more stuff in the week. It used to do... It's Saturday afternoon matinees, which I think were a great platform for young performers Mm -hmm. and singers to actually start doing live music. Have you got any plans for anything like that coming up? Yes. Yes. It's something I really want to bring back because it was always such a big staple. I've heard so many people talk about it and I went to a few of them and it is a brilliant platform um, to, to have young people joining bands, starting gigs. And I really want to, I want to create that space again for them to be able to go and play their first shows. So yes, there is plans. I need to probably make, yeah, I need to make contacts with, with all, all of the schools and colleges again and, and try mm. it's trying to find those young people that are forming bands because I know they're out there. It's just finding them and contacting them, but I definitely am planning to, to start doing them again. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, now, with the upstairs and the downstairs, um, I believe you, you used to do an upstairs and downstairs night, didn't you? Yes. Um, yeah. but you, you've got the upstairs and downstairs, so that makes it a fantastic venue to, to do festivals and stuff. Have, yeah. you, have you done any yeah. festivals there and have you got any plans to? Yes. Yeah, so uh, we've done a few things. So I, I ran uh, for a couple of years running a festival called Not A Fest, which... Unfortunately, with the timing of buying the place and everything going on, I've just not got time to organise for this year. But I am looking at bringing that back again next year. Um, That was a two-day event where we had bands running upstairs and downstairs for the entire weekend. Um, In the day, we had some panels and talks from uh, professionals in the music industry. We had like Q&A sessions um and we got the unis involved because obviously they were they were they were pretty much getting taught for the price of a, a gig ticket of like a tenner for the weekend uh, and, and getting taught all these valuable things from people that have been in the music industry for years right. um so I, i'm bringing that back we also we we made a really fun festival uh in halloween of 2019 which we were going to make a yearly thing and then lockdown stopped all of that happening um but it was called raw xd festival so we ran it every we we ran it on halloween planning on doing it every year after uh we basically got in a bunch of local bands doing uh tribute sets to naughty's emo and pop punk artists so we give in did a my chemical romance set um, long way home did an all-time low set and it was just it was just a really really fun event 
Um, everyone kind of got dressed up as the bands. Um, and so we are looking at bringing that back this year, Halloween. Um, I am wanting to talk to some bands that will be interested. If there's anyone in local bands that would be interested that are listening to this right now, you've probably all got me on Facebook, so get in touch. And if not, email me. It's tom at gettingtheshed.co.uk. I would love to talk to you and, and and get some more people involved because it's such a fun, such a fun night. Yeah, it sounds that sounds quite interesting. It sounds something different, isn't it? There's a little different yeah. slant, thinking out of the box. Yeah, yeah. And it, it proved to be really, really good um, when we did it in 2019. And I really, really do want to bring it back. I see your your club nights are very popular. You recently did a Taylor Swift one, which was sold <laughs> pretty, pretty yeah. early on. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was actually not one of ours. There's a funny story about Swift again, actually. So I'm I'm a I'm a running a, an alternative music venue. I was going to say not a lot of people know, but they now do after that Friday. I'm a big Taylor Swift fan. I, I had the best time. And and Swift again, they run around the country. Uh, they run events all, all around the UK. And we give in. We're actually going to during before lockdown was announced, we were going to be playing a show in Brighton. And we found on the same night that there was this night called Swift again happening after. And we were so excited to go and then unfortunately we we didn't play that show we couldn't go and ever since i've been going god i would just love to go to one of them it sounds so fun and then they got in touch and said we'd love to run an event at the shed and i was like oh my god yes (laughs) (laughs) so yeah it was fun the um but yeah like the ambush club nights they're going so well um for something that it's not your traditional club night so for anyone that doesn't know we do a club night called ambush it's alternative music it's rock it's punk it's pop punk it's emo we do a bit of metal we do all sorts and and everyone just has a great time it's like one big ambush family there and and me me and uh, me and a few others we dj and we we just love our saturday nights doing ambush when elizabeth ronnie it, the shed was open during the day wasn't it like a like a as a coffee shop type thing yes do you, do you plan on bringing that back if i'm being completely honest no because when it was done before we found it didn't work well just because of our location there are obviously a lot of coffee shops and uh, amazing brilliant independent coffee shops in Leicester and they are better located they're in the actual center we're just on the outskirts and with with something like that we had to rely on a lot of footfall and we just was we we weren't getting it in the daytime Mm. um and it it resulted in us losing quite a bit of money actually um so it's 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 something that that's really great to do and it was it was cool for people to come down and have a bit of a workspace and, and have a coffee but unfortunately it just didn't appeal to enough people for us to be able to continue doing it, which is why we eventually stopped. So plans for the future then. So we're going to have, hopefully have some more live music during the week and, um, yeah. and maybe some, some nights for younger bands, hopefully. Yeah. And, and other, and you've got your, um, your launch, your launch weekend coming up, haven't you? On the 1st of April and the 2nd of April. Would you like to tell yes. us about that? <laughs> I am so excited. So, yeah, we're doing we're doing a, a fun launch event. What I wanted to do was um, a fun, upbeat, just celebration on the Friday night. So we've got um, we've got a band called Groove in the Bathtub Pings in, and for anyone that doesn't know them, they do some fantastic covers of like pop songs. But they're quite a big band. They have brass in there, and it's very just fun and you can dance and vibe to it, and it's just going to be a great night. And then we're doing them. Um, our alternative karaoke night afterwards, which is yeah, what it says on the tin, it's karaoke. But we have we we have all the classic karaoke songs, but we like to include rock songs, metal songs, all, all the stuff the shed is known for, yeah. um, and that always ends up being really popular, and everyone has a great time, and you will always hear me singing to Toto because I love Toto. (laughs) Uh, And then, so on the Saturday, I then wanted to do something different. I'm working with um, Cameron from Arclight uh, Promotions, who has just been a fantastic help and a bit of a rock for me um, over the past few weeks, helping me organise this gig. So I wanted to get a bunch of bands in that have played the shed a lot, have supported us, we've supported them, and we've got a really good relationship with these bands and artists. And I just wanted to get them all on one lineup. I did ask some more, but unfortunately they couldn't because we were, you know, this whole thing got announced and, and I had to plan very, very quickly. 
Mm. Um, but we do have um, playing on that night, uh, Brandon Neal, Ohana, Earls, Chambers, Scumbag Lion, Our City Fires and Oceans Apart, which is just such a big wow. stacked lineup of some great local bands. Um, and it, it's brilliant. And then after that, we're, we're doing Ambush because it's classic. It's fun. We're just going to have a big party and celebrate. I feel like I'm going to be asleep for the mm. whole of Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, that'll be, so that's for the whole evening end all through the night then. What what yes. time do things like Ambush finish? Oh, so Am- Ambush and Karaoke, they finish at four in the morning. Wow. Uh, which is yeah crazy <laughs> so but people stay and they love it we're always there till four having a great time um and and then yeah so the 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 events actually start on the friday at 7 p.m and on the saturday 5 p.m we're doing an early start because there's so many bands to to get in the uh to get in there um and then you yeah you can buy all the tickets from our website from the arclight music website we're doing a um weekend ticket as well which basically gets you into all of the events so it gets you into the groove and the bathtub pings gig it gets you into karaoke it gets you into the uh gig with all the bands in on the saturday and then gets you into ambush as well all in one ticket price excellent excellent and how much is that ticket it's 18 pounds for the whole weekend excellent that sounds brilliant fantastic really really good fun um, okay, so and how can people keep up to date with what's going on at the shed? So you can follow us on social media if you just search "Get in the Shed" or one word "Get in the Shed ninety four. You'll find us on social media. Um, my company that is taking over the shed is called Ambush Events. Uh, you can find everything we are doing over on our website ambushevents.co.uk and also on social media, which is Ambush LC. Ambush what? LC for Leicester. Oh, right. LC. (laughs) Let us LC. Okay, that's great. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for our little chat today, Tom. It's very interesting finding out what's going on at the shed. Um, No, thank you for having me. That's quite all right. Lovely little, lovely venue. I'm really pleased to hear it's in your good hands again. Oh, thank you. Not going to be turned into a block of flats because I think Leicester's music (laughs) needs, uh, needs venues like the shed okay so let's uh let's and let's finally play one of the bands that are going to be performing on saturday the 2nd of april um we're gonna have earls and money for meat
That was me chatting to the wonderful Mr. Tom Carnell, who now owns and manages the wonderful shed in sunny Leicester. So good, uh, yeah, good luck to him. And uh, yeah, interesting little chat that, I thought. Okay, so let's have a little bit of Fighting Evil is Cool, and here's the imaginatively titled Brain Salad. <laughs> Abrupt ending there, that was Fighting Evil is Cool, Brain Salad. That brings us to the end of another live local and loud with me, Kevin Gorn. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Don't forget, if you want to listen to any previous shows or the interviews therein, you can check out musicinleicester.co.uk. You'll also find a very handy gig guide of all the latest gigs coming up in Leicester and Leicestershire in our very handy gig guide on musicinleicester.co.uk. So do have a great week and I shall see you next Thursday, 5 o'clock here on Sunny Hermitage FM. Music